Hello, my name's Edita, and today I will read a book, Little Red Riding Hood. One nice sunny day, Little Red Riding Hood said goodbye to her mother. Then she went to see her grandmother who lived near a forest. She could see flowers and birds in the forest. It was a beautiful place. She was very happy. Good morning, little bird, she said to a small bird. I'm walking to my grandmother's house. I want to visit her because she's very old and weak. I want to give her some nice biscuits. Oh, mother said, I mustn't talk to people who I do not know, she thought. She then walked quickly into the forest. When she was in the forest, she saw some beautiful flowers. These flowers are nice, she thought, and I can give them to my grandma. She picked up some flowers from the forest, but then there was a loud no noise. Behind her, there was a wolf. The wolf asked, have you got something for me, little girl? Frightened, little red riding hood answered. I'm sorry, wolf. I've only got some biscuits and some flowers for my old and weak grandma. I mustn't talk to you. I must go to my grandma's house now. She took her biscuits and flowers and walked away quickly. She didn't look back at the wolf. But the clever wolf ran into the forest and went to the grandmother's house. He was there before Little Red Riding Hood. When the grandmother saw the wolf, she was very frightened and she hid in a wardrobe. Her grandmother is an old, weak woman, and I'm very hungry. I can dress up in her clothes and wait for Little Red Riding Hood in her grandmother's bed, he thought. Then I can eat her. When Little Red Riding Hood came to her grandmother's house, the wolf said to her, Come in, my little one. He wanted Little Red Riding Hood to think that he was her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood came into the house, but she stopped when she saw her grandmother. Grandma, she said, you are very old and weak. Please eat these biscuits. The wolf was very hungry. Thank you, my little one, he said. But Little Red Riding Hood thought that something was wrong. Grandma, you are talking very quietly. I can't hear you, she said. Little Red Riding Hood came near the wolf. Then she said, surprised, Oh, you have very big eyes. My big eyes help me to see you better, my little one, said the wolf. Oh, you have a big nose too, and very big teeth, she said. With my big teeth, I can eat you more quickly, said the bad wolf, and he got up from the bed. A man 
who worked in the forest heard Little Red Riding Hood when she called, Help! Help! He ran into the house and said to the wolf, Don't hurt that child! He showed the wolf the axe that he had in his hand. The wolf was frightened and ran out of the house and into the forest. He didn't come back again. Little Red Riding Hood thanked the man, but she was sad. She said to him, I think the wolf ate gra my grandmother. Then they heard a noise coming from the wardrobe. The man opened the door and there was the girl's grandmother. She was inside the wardrobe. She was very tired and weak. You are safe now, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. She was very happy to see her grandmother again. The old lady thanked the man and she told Little Red Riding Hood that she loved her. Then, that afternoon, Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother ate the biscuits. Grandma was better. My little one, when I see you, I'm always better, she said. At the end of the day, Little Red Riding Hood said goodbye to her grandmother and told her that she loved her too. Then she ran back home. When she was at home, Little Red Riding Hood sat near her mother and told her about the wolf and the man who helped her. I know I'm safe near new mother. I don't want to go into the forest again and I don't want to speak to people who I don't know. Thank you very much. Bye.